guitar players, and welcome to Best Beginner Guitar Lessons. Today, I am going to show you how to play four simple, easy chords. If you're brand new to the guitar and just wanting to learn how to play, and learn how to play uh, fast, and play for your own enjoyment, or your family and friends, or around the campfire, or in a little church group, if that's what you're looking to do, this is going to help you get started really fast and be able to start playing songs in just a matter of days. These are four chords that are used by most every guitar player. These four chords will be used quite a bit in many, many songs that you'll see and hear play. And it, again, it's only four chords, but the real key to the whole thing is that when you first start making the chords sound clear, and being able to move from one to the other is a struggle for 99% of people trying to learn how to play guitar. Because if you were playing the G, let's say, standard G, and I was going to say, you see how big a movement that is. Big movement. You gotta rotate all the way down, you gotta get on the strings quick enough to where you won't have an interruption between your chord changes. And that's the biggest, one of the biggest uh, drawbacks when you first starting to learn, and totally frustrating. Uh, and being able to play the, the chords and make them sound clear without needing dead notes. And like I say, if you're brand new, maybe you've been trying to learn a chord or two, and you, you've already experienced what I'm talking about as far as making the chords sound clear and being able to move from one to the other easily and uh, make your chord changes smooth and even. We're going to show you these four chords made an easy way where you only be moving two fingers just two fingers okay so what you want to do is lock the ring finger down here on the second string second smallest string at the bottom and then the little finger right next to it on the first string right on the third fret right next to the third fret not on it i'm sorry right next to it so you got one two three okay and then you're going to take your first finger and put it up here on the fifth string second fret now these two bottom strings, fingers stay there. They do not move. They stay locked in right there in that position. First finger on the fifth string, second fret. And then your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. That is a G. Okay. That's a G chord. Now here's the real beauty to making these uh, four chords using only two fingers. So if you have G, and you want to go to C, all you have to do is drop the first finger down one string and the second, second finger down one string. Now you're on the fourth and fifth string, second and third fret. These two bottom fingers still locked in on the bottom, which they'll stay there. That's C. So instead of having to do this, like that, all you have to do is G. Drop your first and second finger down one string apiece to the fourth and fifth string, and there's C. A lot of difference there. A lot of difference from having to go from here to here, or here to here. Super, super big difference. And by keeping these two fingers locked in, it keeps you where you need to be in position on the fretboard, where you won't get out of, out of whack on, as far as the position on the fretboard. So these two stay locked in. So here we go, we got G, you got C. The third card, okay, it's an E minor, one of the easier chords you ever make. Now you can do this two ways, and again, these two locked in. First finger can be on the fifth string, second fret, and your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. That's E minor. With these two still at the bottom, okay? Okay. If you can and you want to, you can use one finger to hold both those strings down. I, I sometimes use my first to my first finger to hold the fourth and fifth strings down on the E minor. If you can do that and hold them down well, where they sound clear, that's okay. Uh, so you can use one finger to hold both of them down as long as you're holding them together down. But again, using two fingers on the fourth and fifth string second fret, that's, that's fine, no problem. There's no set rule on that. Okay. So you have the G, the C, so easy. The E minor, and the last card, fourth card, would be the D. Again, these two are still there, locked in. Take your first finger, put it on the third string, second fret, with the two still locked in on the bottom. 
strum the bottom four string. Okay. Now, if you, I know when you're practicing, you may hit the uh, fifth and sixth strings. That's okay. Uh, it's not a big problem at all. As you get more familiar with strumming and, and being able to control the pick, uh, you'll be able to hit just the strings you want to hit. But right now, it's okay to strum all over. Okay. So here we go. We got G. Okay. And then fourth and fifth string for E minor. Okay. And then C. You go from G right here. Your first and second finger on the fourth and fifth string, first and uh, second, third fret. But these two bottom locked in, and then the D, move your first finger to the third string, second fret. And that's it. Let me go over the H. If you got your guitar pick, if close to you, pick it up. If you got already hold it, that's great. Let's do a G. Two, three, four, C. Drop your first and second finger down one string. These two still locked in. C. So much easier this way. G. And D. That's all there is to it, people. That's it. G. C. D e minor. And D. Let's do it one more time. G. C. First and second finger down the string. G, first finger on the third string, second fret, G. That's it. Take 10 minutes per day. 10 minutes per day. That's all you need to practice. Don't over practice, by all means. So many people starting out tend to over practice, um, play for hours at a time, and that's way too long. What you want to do in the beginning is develop muscle memory. So by playing 10 minutes a day, and focusing in just on these four cards. Again, if you've been looking on, on the internet, you know that there's so much out there, so much information overload. It gets you totally confused. Um, if you, like I say, if you're looking to play guitar for the purpose of being able to play songs, this is the best way to do it. Four cards. Start with these four cards. You can uh, expand once you get used to playing these four cards and learning some songs. But until then, Practice these four cards 10 minutes a day and pick it up 10 minutes. Even, even if all you do is just be able to strum the cards a couple of times. Every day 10 minutes and you'll be doing playing these cards in a matter of days and playing songs uh, in a matter of days. It's that easy. And these four cards are, can be used to play thousands of songs. Four cards, these four cards, can play thousands of songs. You just have to have, uh, be able to learn the card, be able to move from one to the other, and then know how to put them together in songs. And like I say, you'd be playing the guitar in songs in no time at all. If I'd have had this when I first started many, many years ago, someone showed me this in the beginning, I, I would have been playing songs in, in the first week for sure. Um, it's so much easier and faster this way. Like I say, instead of going through the G and the C and the open card, you see how much movement that is with the regular card. See, I'm moving way all over the fretboard. Here, you're just doing this, G, C, D minor, okay, and then D. Just like that, just like that. Okay, and again, you can play, like I say, thousands of songs. Uh, just to give an idea what you do, get your rhythm, let your rhythm, let your wrist relax to, to create the rhythm. And having fun, just having fun, people. cards in any order there's no way no specific way to play them G E minor C D start with C and do E minor D and G however you want to play mix them up uh, by mixing them up you'll even learn them quicker instead of playing them in the same order each time uh, but again learn these four cards 
and you'll be playing the guitar in just about her days. Um, it, it's not hard to learn how to play guitar if you have the right instructor with the right plan, the right lesson plan. And again, uh, I can if you'll do what I've just shown you here, and just practice these four chords, and then start putting them in, in songs using just the four chords, you will be able to play thousands of songs and be playing in just days, not weeks, not months. Uh, and it, leave your comments down below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know if this has helped you. Uh, if you've been struggling, uh, trying to make cards and make them sound right, switch it from one to the other, leave your comments. If this little lesson here with the magic four cards, I, I like to call these my magic four cards, if it's helped you. Uh, any questions you have, leave, your, leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, anything you're having trouble with, uh, I'd be glad to try to help you with. I'll respond to all comments uh, personally myself, so leave your comments below. Uh, also, in the description, I've got uh, a link to my website, Best Beginner Guitar Lessons. If you click that link, it's going to bring you to my home page, where all you need to do is enter your email address, click the little blue button, and you'll be brought in instantly to 38 of my best beginner guitar lessons. Now these are the best beginner guitar lessons that I've taught for over 40 years to thousands and thousands of guitar players who've used these lessons to learn how to play. It's a step-by-step -step method. Now it, it's a more uh, comprehensive course and, and it's going to take a little while to get through it. So you, you have that at your disposal. There's no charge for it, 100% free. No credit card required, no trial. Uh, no payment income. I'm offering to you absolutely free. Just click the link down in the description, bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. Uh, but again, to learn to get started quick, easy, and play songs and hundreds and thousands of songs, G, C. So easy, people. It's G, C, E, B, R, and D. That's all you need to learn. If you've got a bunch of courses you bought and still having all kind of trouble just getting started, put those to the side. Focus in on these four cards. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of tips. Your fingernails on the cardy hand need to be trimmed to at least to the tip of your finger, if not just past the tip, to where when you press, you use the very tip of your finger to press the strings down. And if your fingernails are long, it's not going to allow you to be able to press the string straight to the fretboard to be able to get the clear tone. So these have your fingernails need to be trimmed. Uh, you can leave them, you know, the way you, you want them on the right hand. Uh, if you want to do finger picking down the road, it'd be good to have a little fingernail uh, on your right hand, on your strumming hand. But on the on the carding hand, fingernails need to be cut. Okay, and you want to play right on the tip of your fingers. And the third thing is when you play and try to let your elbow stay closer to your body for the G. In, in the E minor, and the C, and the D, and this will allow you to have your fingers come up and over and be more vertical up and down, which is the way you want them, to apply the pressure straight down. Because if you bring it out here, like on the G, bring your elbow out here, you see my fingers starting to lay down. They start to want to drop down, and they're touching strings next to them. Okay, not just touching the one string.